welcome to Molly Pod number two. Um, Ollie, Maddie, Ollie, there you go. Um, so, <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> it's quick, I like we the We did it last time. <laughs> like, we explained it last time. Watch the, the first one. Watch the first one. If you want to know who we are, watch the first one. Watch it in order. It's not like a, I don't know, Netflix series. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, tonight, Maddie came up with a game. Not saying she was necessarily the only person to have ever come up with this game. So, in case anyone wants to come up with yeah. copyright reasons. Um, but, well, I'll let you explain the game, the rules. We haven't played it before. I think it's always best to just not be prepared, see how it goes. Always. Basically, it's headline mashup, and you pick two celebrities, a male, a female, a location, and a funny activity. That's your headline. Any other person has got to ask you questions, and you've got to fill in the backstory as to why they are where they are, and they're with who they're with. <laughs> And they're very random, so filling in the backstory is going to be hard work because I don't know Super why random. these people would ever be together or in these situations, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think, is it mainly celebrities? Oh, it's, yeah, it's all celebrities. All celebrities. Of course, everyone over there. I'll just put it like. I'll be like Bob down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Bob down the road in my shed. Oh, Bob's a ledge. Leave him alone. <laughs> all right, leave him alone. He's all right. Cool. So, is there a particular pot we must pick out of, or do we just pick out one of each? One I of think each pick out one of each, and you can use your own brain to like work out what Work out what it is going in. Should I, should I go first? Or do you want to go first? You're the creator. Okay, I'll go first. To show us how it's done. I'm excited for this. Pattern pending. <laughs> yeah, if this is on, I think there's probably someone who's already had a game. I think Similar there was a TV this. show where they had like the headlines, but you had to guess what the story yeah, was to go the headlines exactly or something. The same. So we got Taylor Swift mm -hmm. is with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> they are down a mine shaft. <laughs> sure, right. At a psychic reading. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's my headline. So now you go ask the questions. So I've got to fill in the story as to what what the fuck is going on in this situation. Okay. So first one, <laughs> not that I don't think Taylor and Dwayne The Rock Johnson wouldn't hang out. I've just never seen them hang out. I've never been watching... Did you not know? What? Dwayne's a massive Swift fan. He's a Swifty. I could imagine He's that. He's in his car, bopping along to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> her music. You don't know a Taylor Swift song, do you? <laughs> you don't know a Taylor Swift um, song. You blank must... Space? Yep. Blank Space. He, that's his favourite. That is he just loves space. You know he works out. Like... You know he pump. He's at the gym. He's pumping iron. You think he's probably got some rock music in? Mm -mm. Blair and Taylor Swift gets him through. <laughs> Even though his name's The Rock, you think he'd yeah. listen to nothing but rock? You think he changed his name to Dwayne the Swifty Johnson? He would. Okay. That's how much of a fan he is. Right. And Taylor, like, he's a nice guy. Who doesn't like The Rock Johnson? He loves her, so it works. Okay, cool. So, um, so how does the headline actually go? Like, is if you were to put it out, like, how I read it. The first how you read it the first time? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Taylor Sorry, Swift, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, <laughs> down on my shop. That's like it's not really headline, so it's more of a situation. Situation matchup. Changing the game name. See, that's why we do this on the fly. You can't change it. Okay, go. Apologies if this podcast is horrendous. <laughs> it's all going to be hilarious. Um, cool. So, first of all, I feel. I need to know what the lighting situation is in this mine, mine shaft. Yeah, mine shaft. shaft. One oil lamp, one canary. One oil lamp, one canary. Yeah. <laughs> like the canary made its way down You've there as well. You've got to have a canary. That's true, that's true. Health and safety, it's 2018. <laughs> canary. You've got to have a canary. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's rule number that's, three. That's health, health and safety regulation. That's health, that's health and, and safety. Got a light, and the light is an oil lamp, you know, those flammable ones. Very <laughs> oil um, health and safety tick tick. Off you go. Okay, yeah, cool, right. So it's not particularly well lit. So it not makes enough. sense that psychic readings happen in there. Whenever yeah. you see psychic readings, spooky. they're always a little bit spooky, yeah. they're usually candles going on. No Ouija boards down the um, experience. Who are are they are they like trying to reach someone or is that's not called a psychic reading? What's a psychic reading? Who's doing the psychic reading? Psychic Sally. No, because she's not down in my shaft. <laughs> she's not in the headline. She's not that famous. Yeah, if we had Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Taylor Swift and Psychic Sally, who would be the two names you mentioned in that headline? <laughs> <laughs> Psychic Sally would not get a mention. She wouldn't even get a nod. You don't think? Not even a little bit? Nope. Okay, right. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, okay, so Taylor Swift, Dwayne mm-hmm. Johnson, down a mind shop, yeah. getting a psychic reading. Yeah, but which one of them's getting the psychic reading? Or are they both getting it? Collaborative. Collaborative yes. psychic reading. What is their future of their friendship together? It's a very intense friendship. I think you've undermined how close, close they are. Right, okay. So, I'm assuming then they've shared with the world in this newspaper situation article mm-hmm. what that reading was. <laughs> 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 if you could just if you could just explain yeah. to me what the what the reading was I want to know what the uh, the outcome of this was well what do their futures hold they didn't like it because like any craze fan which is what Dwayne is craze fan at some point <laughs> you know like your hero always takes a tumble always has that fall from grace <laughs> oh. I'm just saying this now Dwayne does not take it well Dwayne doesn't take it well no you found that oh no. hey <laughs> Cat. Um, Marley, <laughs> you don't mind. This is the most least affectionate cat. As soon as the podcast so, is on, she's like, hey guys. So that's Marley. She was in the last one too. She's she never around. She was in the last one. <laughs> she's never she? around. She wasn't very nice in the last one. Just me kind of yeah, going, like, holding like her in like a girl. She doesn't like that me. That horrible way people always try to pick yeah. up the cat and they realise they're like, oh, cat, cat really, doesn't like her. Cat just doesn't like me. No. <laughs> they hate it. Um, okay, so moving on from the interruption. Yeah. So, Dwayne is not happy. Mm. With the outcome. Yeah, so I'm assuming Taylor he... Swift is taking a downward spiral. Yeah, she has. Oh, what's happened? Hard drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she do a whole thing about stopping drugs a while ago? I think we're talking about Demi Lovato. Yeah, your pop culture knowledge is not great. No, was it? I don't think Taylor Swift knows anything about drugs. I feel she I'm... hits it hard when she goes. <laughs> you reckon? Yep. You reckon she hits it hard when she like, goes? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm thinking, of Miley. I'm thinking and... of Miley Cyrus, the other blonde one. Oh yeah, she did do a lot about drugs. She got really weird on yeah, them. Yeah, you know, Robin. Weird on them, weird off them. Robin Thicke on the stage, definitely high. <laughs> You'd have to be right. <laughs> True. Especially when he wears that suit. He looks yeah, like Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice yeah. I love that joke. Thank you, <laughs> internet. Yeah, thank, thank you, internet. Thank you for that. Um, right, cool. So I'm just trying to think of some more questions, mm. really. Um, I'm sure they got out of the mine shaft okay, because otherwise they're so yeah, really well, really wrong. <laughs> or did they t- t- Taylor Swift tumble was down the mine shaft <laughs> <laughs> into hard drugs so at the bottom <laughs> Canary's a it dealer was, it was Just, a crack mine shaft the Canary's because that's what you get cracked with isn't it you mine it, like. you mine it. wouldn't that be weird if that's how we actually got drugs yeah, or that would be so... straight from the source <laughs> straight from they're the... a lot more pure I suppose <laughs> I don't know if they would. <laughs> you remember, no. like, Black Lung? Like, uh, some people used to go down in the mines. Like, you know, yeah, but I can just imagine Zara and the Canary's the dealer. Or <laughs> Psychic Sally. No. <laughs> the Canary no. carries the drugs for Psychic Sally. But I mean, Sally. it's a psychic Sally. thing, so it, it doesn't mean that that's going to be what happens to Taylor Swift. It means that now she knows this information, she can keep herself from straight now. Now she's straight now. Okay, so did Dwayne... So it's collaborative, wasn't it? Sorry, so I've asked all these questions about Taylor Swift. Love you. <laughs> Holla. <laughs> um, what had Dwayne got in store? Probably, let me, can I guess? Yeah, go on. I'm going to go with ridiculously outrageous action film where he jumps from really high buildings on a really tall stuff, just in general, lorries, buildings, bridges, that sort of thing, mm-hmm. probably with a gun in one hand, yeah. probably with someone in the other, goes, ah, explosion goes off behind him. You'd think that. Actually, he oh. gets into very tragic love stories. That's where his um, career takes him. That would be such a change in career. It would. Because you, you know, imagine. Dwayne's like that. Mix it up. You didn't expect him to be a Swifty fan, did you? You weren't expecting this move either. It's true. Dwayne is all about surprises. It was more surprising than Rock. You should never assume. Never <laughs> assume. assume. Okay, so he goes into a love film. Oh, I hope Taylor Swift turns to acting. I can see them two get together. I suppose like they're probably a good height match. Are they? Because Taylor's like really, really tall, and you want like your man to be a bit taller than you, preferably. It's not not a deal breaker, but in an ideal world, he's in my world. <laughs> I'm like one inch smaller than you, so I know. Not that's why heels doesn't make quite happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Right. So Dwayne goes into love films, which just yeah. trying to imagine is impossible. He really bogs down for them. Bogs down. Oh no! <laughs> He's like my fitspiration. Really? I know. <laughs> you couldn't tell. <laughs> Go on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you know what? Not right, like maybe. Yeah, thanks. It's <laughs> <Just> there. <laughs> um, cool. 
psychic <laughs> reading. Yeah, I think you probably. I feel like I've covered anyone, that. Yeah, I, I feel think... that's covered. I think that's your turn. Right. Into the pot. I'm going to get them all out first so I can arrange them because I don't want to just read them out willy nilly. Oh, yeah. Why well, is she going to be crazy? Oh. Oh, no. How tight have you done these? So the cats can't get in them. Oh, nice. <laughs> what have you got? Don't. You're not ready. <laughs> it's a surprise. You are not okay. ready. Young pad one. Oh, they would have such beautiful <clears throat> babies. I don't think they're baby making any of these. They've already had beautiful. Well, I, I <laughs> oh, I can kind of One see. of them's already had beautiful babies. The other one is definitely going to have beautiful babies. Okay. Yeah, all these people I think are beautiful people. <laughs> Apart from except for maybe one or two. <laughs> well, you didn't put Gary Busey in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, two packs behind his teeth. <laughs> is that what I ran down? Yeah, that was a conspiracy, wasn't yeah. it? Okay. I got it. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> so David Beckham yeah. and Jennifer Lawrence yeah. oh, love that <laughs> films hot, hot beautiful yeah. stunning David Beckham's also beautiful he's a beautiful man he's, he's, like, he's like surely he's got to be nearly 50 by now I think he's about 67 67 yeah. <laughs> he's at retirement age he's taking his government pension soon he's 67 we all know he's been waiting for the government pension that's for sure are Hard doing a, a naked yet tasteful photo shoot nice. and nuclear power plant <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm thinking is like lots of like sexy hazmat and masks, you know, like or strategic just place. the mask. Yeah, where like dungarees <laughs> just covering like the nip, like strategically <laughs> placed. Anyway, though, I think like you said, the first question in this game has got to be like, where did they meet? How do they know each other? So, David Beckham. Yeah. They actually met at the nuclear power plant. Oh, so, yeah, so was the Naked Potatoes of photo shoot spontaneous? It was, completely spontaneous. So we both know okay. how... And I had a photographer there with them. So spontaneously there was... This is the thing, right? David Beckham... So I David don't Lawrence actually know what their views are on nuclear power. I want to make that clear. But I know one thing is true. What? If you get close enough to nuclear radiation stuff, yeah. things go glow green. That is true. It was in the Simpsons. David Beckham, yeah. being a man of balls, yeah. spent a lot of time in his life around balls, yeah. was like, do you know what I need in my life? Mm. Glowing green balls. So he went down he there. He went there. Yeah, he went down there, was like, I'm going to talk to the man, I'm going to see what it's all about. Posh is getting bored. Posh is getting bored. Need I need some... to liven this up. I need some luminous jizz. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I Jennifer Lawrence late, just so happened to be down there yeah. protesting. She was like, for or against it? Um, against you don't go to you don't go to the place you're really for and protest. You might just love it. it. <laughs> I love nuclear power. <laughs> I love nuclear power. <laughs> Give us energy. Give yeah. us. Um, no. So Jennifer Lawrence right? was down there, yeah. protesting against nuclear power. Yeah. And David Beckham turned up. And she was like, "What are you doing here, strange English man?" Yeah. And um, he went, "I've come here to get." Bright green balls. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yes, vision, I see like, it, yes. I love it. <laughs> One, saving costs, which we know these guys are all about. Yeah. They haven't got Yeah, like, they are well broke. They are well broke. Well broke. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> you know, they don't have I had to lend them a fiver. They don't have our kind. He could have buy himself a sandwich, I had to lend them a fiver. They don't have our kind of money, you know. People think Bob Spice get... isn't doing the reunion because she's got too much money. It's actually she can't afford it. Yeah. She can't afford the clothes. They're probably going to have to borrow our microphones, which have, have socks on today, yeah, to try and dull down the, uh, the tin sound that we gave you last year. sponsored by Primark. Instead of getting actual Microsoft fluffs, we just brought fluffy socks, because we were like, same thing. Works, right? Yeah. In tip, a tip they could take. We are creative. Really. So, she saw him there, was like, damn, we just saved money on the lighting. Mm. You're a beautiful man. Go get your balls glowing. We're going to do this shit. And there was just a photographer just like, here... Down, baby. I'm ready, baby. I went to a gig last night. I got my phone out. I was like, "Great, yeah." Photos. But like, if I, okay, photo shoot implies a professional. Like, if I turned up to a photo shoot and there's someone with a phone, I'd be like, "Well, I could have done that." I don't know if I would be okay with a professional photo shoot being a phone. Mm, I think you've already said it though. You could have done that. So I think what you're really understanding right now is the lack of um, 
potential you have at your fingertips when it comes to a brand new smartphone. Okay, well, if I open, like, <laughs> the cats are really, really confused, so... They are both coming. They are like, what the hell is like. going on in this room? <laughs> um, anyway, if I got to... No, what did you say last? Distraction. So I was saying that you've really underestimated the power oh, yeah, no, of your I was, no, I was like, phone If I opened a... Ability, right, okay, so if I buy a heat mag, or no, no more like a photo shoot mag, like if I go and buy like... Cause yeah, it, heat mag's not really no. an, a, 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 a like, tasteful photo okay, shoot. Okay, stay with me though. If I go and buy a personal policy magazine, and I open up the photo shoot page, I think I'd be able to tell if it's been shot on a phone compared to the quality. You know what? Everything else in the story I completely see happening, but the lack of photographer is my real hole in your story. I didn't really That's believe... That's I, I can't believe. really believe... Iron balls, I'm here for. <laughs> well, I didn't believe Psychic Sally was always just waiting down there in that uh, mine shop. Mine's done. Why are you picking on me? We're on you now. Because this I'm is just, all about you, Ollie. I'm just saying. I'm the journalist. I was there... I That's witnessed it with okay. my eyes. Just so you, was it a photo shoot for? I'm assuming more for personal reasons than for a. Oh yeah, they straight up fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Like, well, that was I didn't see that one coming. To yeah, exactly. Curveball like When I said how they know each other, you never threw that in the mix. Well, no, I didn't want to because they weren't fucking until they met, and then they met, and yeah, they realised. Yeah, if you had your sex and you had and you got pregnant, you only took a of plant. I think you're a pretty fine chance of like. I think there's definitely proof out there in the world like that it's caused with like th- Oh, yeah, I know, but, like, <laughs> that's definitely caused problems. Like, I know definitely like, has caused problems. I know that We're nuclear going, has <laughs> caused problems. But if you, had, if you had a baby at a nuclear power plant, you would probably be more, like... I know nuclear, if you're, like, exposed to it, and it's, like, raw, as it were, raw, you would have, like, problems. But if like, you had a baby at a nuclear power plant where it was, like, controlled and contained... Right. You never answer this question, so let me know why I'm not saying it. No, I don't. Move on. Yeah, I think move on. Yeah. Um, do you have any more questions? I mean, I feel like I've I think, yeah, we've probably, like, got into the real nitty-gritty <laughs> of it. It's a bit weird. As it were. Right, cool. Well, off you go, guys. He's off you go. They are weird. It would be boring it's, if it's they were, like... It's a strange game. <laughs> we'll find out whether it works. <laughs> it's working so far, I think. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. Nothing well, else. that's the most important thing, I think, isn't it? Just to have fun. When did you oh. get so deep and mystical? What about having fun? Yes. That's a very very mystical. Mystical. I'm gonna start calling you psychic Sally. <laughs> Don't start calling me psychic Sally. You would not like that. I would not like psychic Sally. Oh, okay, I've got one occasion. Secret, secret. Have you seen those psychics where they do um a lot of psychics seem to have like a third person? Or like not a third person, a second person. If it was us two sitting in the room and I was psychic, it would be a third person. And they just like Kathy. Yeah, and they'd just be like, So, Tiffany. Like how do you know the difference between someone being like I am not like digging on psychics, like I'm sure there are some legit ones out there. But how do you know when someone is crazy and is seeing and having hallucinations to someone is psychic? Suppose if they're right or wrong, really, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) If you're wrong, you're fucking mad. If you're right, got a point. (laughs) <laughs> that's very clear cut yeah, well, yeah I don't think I've ever no I don't think I've, I've I've never done a psychic reading mm. I, I'd love to I would I, I haven't but I would I, how do these people know each other okay sorry no, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't know I'm, I just it's been one of those things for me where I'm like eh no what? I love it the thing I, I'm such a sucker though I'm so gullible I do worry though that like like you know when people do the tarot card readings? Yeah. What if all of yours turn out really bad? And then you're really bummed. And then you're one of those people that's, that's really bummed. That's why I've never bummed. done one. But because you... I do believe in them. If I got a bad one, I would, I would like, if you don't believe in it, you can go get a bad one, but I don't fucking believe it anyway. But if you do believe in it, that's why I've never done it, because I do kind of believe in it. And I don't want a bad one, because it would really bum me out. It would really bum <laughs> yeah. me out. And then that would probably, in turn, cause more negative things mm. to happen to mm-hmm. you. Mm. Yeah. I think I know what Only I believe for the brave, in. Only really. I believe in. Caught like power of the mind over this psychic this, woohoo. This woohoo. This woohoo. Hey, maybe I'll be proven wrong one day. We'll find out. But this is not why we're here. It's not. Another po- another time, another, another podcast, podcast, maybe with a psychic. Oh, cool. oh my god, if we get a real Ooh. psychic on, it'll be so much fun. Someone do our tarot readings. If there's any real psychics out there that live in Kent, comment. Comment below. Comment it would message. Be good fun to have you here. Right, cool. Moving on. Moving on. Next headline. 
Barack Obama That's and one. Rihanna are at oh. a haunted house presenting can, a... Sorry, can I stop you for a yeah, second? Okay. Power couple. Oh, straight up. Yeah. That is a power Bit couple. Bit age difference, but we'll just gloss. Age is by a number. Gloss straight up. When you're that powerful. It's not like it's that much of an age difference. It's not like a huge enough to be his daughter. I would have no idea. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> at a haunted house presenting a uni lecture on bubble hats. I would imagine you've got quite a few questions. I don't need to know how Barack and Rihanna met. Because Just power is how they met. Are people... Just, mm. Well, I might need to do, though, is look at how you spelt Rihanna. Okay, we both know my spelling <laughs> so is not great. I do not want to have to tell you down it's for it. It's R-I-H-A-N-N-A. Rihanna. <laughs> so, Barack Obama and this very unfamous person called Rihanna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like this is someone who looks a little bit like Rihanna, but not quite. She's right. But she's just there, like, I'm Rihanna, bro. It's cool. It's cool. That's what we're using. <laughs> Three horse, real name, Rihanna. I remember when we draw, I came out in the magazine, I read, I read it was like, the British Rihanna. And I was like, really? Is she British? We draw, is, yeah. Very British. I thought someone said she was from like Caribbean or something. No, that's Rihanna. She's from Barbados. I think. I'm Ooh. really sorry if I'm wrong. I do not mean to be offensive. Ooh, we should go sure nice. Okay, so anyway. they're at a haunted house doing a uni lecture on. So, straight up, we've got Barack Obama, cheap Rihanna. Cheap Rihanna. <laughs> no, real Rihanna. So, first of all, I want to know... Oh, it's on bubble hats. You already yeah. said that. <laughs> right, so the lecture's on bubble hats. Is that because you would need a bubble hat in a haunted house because haunted houses are always cold? Yeah, it's some and some. Right. So, mm-hmm. yes, haunted houses are always cold. So they are both obviously sporting the bubble hat. They are looking fine in their bubble hats. What, Rihanna and Barack Obama? Rihanna and Barack Obama. Barack Obama. And Barack Obama. Right. But also, the reason they're at a haunted house giving a lecture is because a lot of people feel see ghosts as a scary thing with no thoughts, emotions or feelings. They are just people like you and me. And... They feel like they've been left out on a lot of things. You know, you know when you go to a haunted house and it gets cold? Right. If you're cold, guess who else is cold? The ghost is cold. <laughs> so the reason they're there is to make them feel more inclusive in our society because they are contributive members of society. So they're there to... Wait, 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 the dead feel the cold. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. That's why you all get cremated, mm-hmm. right? Give you up. <laughs> For a little while. <laughs> right. Are they giving the lecture to the ghosts? Yes. So it sounds like it's more of a sales pick than a lecture. These are uni ghosts. So these are ghosts that are so, at university <laughs> studying so, to be better ghosts. So they're studying yeah. the landscape, the, the messy landscape yeah. that is the bubble hat world. Yeah, it's competitive. <laughs> Have you ever tried to Sure, it's not a sales pitch. You know, when like the yo yo guy would come to your school? <laughs> Remember that? No! no. Remember in primary school? No! You never had a yo yo guy. Look up the, we had like, oh. there was like the yo yo craze that everybody went through, but we never had a yo yo guy come to oh, your school. Oh, mate, you're missing out. You're missing out. What's that? What, what, what was it? Oh, no. Don't tell mm-hmm. me what. Like, or oh, already know your childhood was ruined. <laughs> like, so, yeah, <laughs> so I was in primary school. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm lucky because I moved primary school in like year five. Yeah. So I landed straight in year six. Yeah. Halfway through year six, yo yo dude. I was like, never would have got that my old primary school. So really actually, I was probably one of the lucky sick. ones. I'm so sorry to get this. And oh, he could too. do some sweet ass tricks. So everyone bought yo yo. <laughs> everyone. Everyone had like the, the 20 pound yo yos. They had lights on. They spammed full berries. Was... I'm so confused. Like, why did he have a yo yo set? What? Did he go to the head teacher and be like, look? You, you want to get these kids to learn. <laughs> Put the facts on yo yo <laughs> Boffins, the sad ones where they flicked it out and it was like, two plus two is four, yeah. yo. <laughs> was no, like, I had the yo yo craze. I think everyone had the yo yo craze, but, you, but not a salesman. You have missed out, I mate. I feel like the that was yo- your teacher's son. <laughs> the yo yo dude. The yo yo dude was amazing. Is it your primary school, so you did say? Oh. Yeah, he came out and did a show first. He could do the whole around the world. And then did everyone buy The one? thing where they put it in the triangle. I don't know what the, the handshakes are. Yeah, of course. Everyone get one. <laughs> you met my mother. Of course I got one. <laughs> we 
buy everything. <laughs> um, um, that makes me sound so spoiled. <laughs> that makes me sound like I'm really spoiled. No, That's not the, not, not the case. You want to just like shop. <laughs> it's just like, ooh, yogurt. Yeah. Like, I know, mum. Look at the yeah, brochure. Your just there was a brochure, shop. a yogurt brochure. Wow! <laughs> yes, a yo-yo brochure. Changing my mind. This is the extra lecture on yo-yos. <laughs> Can't change your mind. Life. Bubble hats. Okay. Take you back. Sorry, I know people want to hear more about brochure yo-yo. Yeah. Brochure yo-yo. For another podcast, we can do a whole Bro- podcast on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I find there's enough content though. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Cool. I like it. I like it. We'll come back to it maybe another day. Uh, <laughs> we have to start the next podcast. <laughs> so yo-yo. Sorry. This is a yo-yo podcast. <laughs> We can't yo-yo. If you can't yo-yo, switch off now. It's not for you. (laughs) (laughs) Or or if you think you might be able to yo-yo, you're just starting out. (laughs) Then stay for a bit. (laughs) Yo, yo, yo. (laughs) I think I just came up with our theme tune. Yeah, I think so. (sighs) Right, so moving on. So, Haunted House, Bubble Hats, they're learning about the wicked world of this. Um, who is leading the lecture and who is modelling the bubble hats? So are they both in it? What's going on? Um, I feel like Barack Obama is leading it. Purely because like he is a clear public speaker, he is the ex president of the United States. Like I feel like he he is a leader. He is a leader. He was. Not since he's a man. Can he was actually lead? To be fair, they'd lead in very different um, different worlds. So he comes they? out and he gives like the real motive, like he gives a motivational speech that makes you think, like, yeah, like this bubble hat is going to change my life. And then guess who makes it look cool? Rihanna. Rihanna. Because you might think that <laughs> something's motivational, but you might think, but will my friends think I'm cool? And then Rihanna comes up wearing it, and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm buying a bubble hat now. So all these ghosts are queuing out the door. But they've got problems because they can't pick them I up. I kind of want to go downstairs <laughs> and just get my bubble hat, but I'll, I'll wear it later. I'll wear Next, it later. We'll do it on the yo-yo podcast. And nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> You're in I for don't a treat. I that's for the podcast. <laughs> what? You said I look like The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said you look like The Rock. People leave comments. Let me know. <laughs> what do we want to see? Who see me get what do we want to see? nothing but a bubble hat. <laughs> <laughs> like this video. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 likes, nothing more than bubble hat. <laughs> I can say that confidently because that's not going to happen. 2,000 likes, 2,000 <laughs> five. I think we're on four subscribers, so, <laughs> so like 10 subscribers and 2,000 likes, yeah. bubble hat only. Yeah. I could wear an assortment of bubble hats to cover all bits. No one said you had to stand up. <laughs> But we know I will. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could use one of these socks. <laughs> need some more socks. <laughs> I'm joking. Too easy a joke. Too easy a joke. Fuck Sorry. you. <laughs> right, moving on. My anyway, turn. Yeah. My turn. So we're done with it. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm done with that. Fair, I think we should do one more. And then... And then I think that we should... Why? You've got someone to be? Yeah. Okay. I've got so many more friends than you. <laughs> I just do this because your mum pays me. <laughs> she actually likes to shop. You go out. <laughs> <laughs> My mum bought me you. Yeah. That's dark. <laughs> That's, we're laughing. <laughs> we're crying. We're crying. I told you not to rattle your chain. So. <laughs> 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 okay. Onwards right, again. right, 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 right. Onwards, upwards. Uh, Inwards, outwards. Okay. Oh. Already know I'd be, I'd be buying some. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, no, no. Stay away. You can't stop. Stay you. away. Stop, stop no. thinking. That is like the most likely place you'd probably be, to be fair. Yes. Have we got a really good one? I feel like it's a good one. No, tell me. So, mm-hmm. Kanye, mm-hmm. Katy Perry. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's Ye now, right? Uh, actually, Ye thinks so. You're such a yeah. fucking hoe. <laughs> I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> oh, in your Australian outback. Fair yeah, dinkum. I love it. Terrifying. Go on. Not terrifying. Terrifying. You did a few little walks out there, is alright? Not in like the. I'm, no, when I wrote that, I meant like out fucking back. I mean the outback? I meant like four hours drive away from anything. Yeah, we both do. Because then we lived there for a year, neither of us can do it. It's a bad Australian accent. Selling oranges. (laughs) (laughs) 
Hmm. Oh, it makes sense. Normal. Okay, so who was the female, sorry? Kay oh, Katy Perry. Katy Perry. So I've got Yi, Katy okay, Perry. Okay, I'm make the link there, but like, I'm who? assuming they know each other through like musical connections. Have they ever done a song together? No. Don't Do a so. song together. I don't know if the world needs to see that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> she so did bad. do one with um, the Bob, one of Bob Marley's sons, one of his many sons. He was in um, Change the Rhythm. Oh, Change. I'm not going to actually use my beautiful singing voice. That's what I don't <laughs> I know. I have no idea what song that is. I've never heard that you song. You definitely before. have heard it. Okay, anyway. moving on. So yeah, what's your question? So Kanye and Kate Perry, I mean the connection's quite obvious. Okay. They're there because they love music. Yeah. Maybe not the same music, although I can imagine Yee yeah, kicking back yeah, in a bar, putting a bit of Perry on. I could see them doing a song together. I don't know if Kanye would listen to Kate Perry. <laughs> I think Kate Perry would listen to Kate Perry. Firework, <laughs> make it go, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> you've not seen the interview, that won't make any sense. <laughs> um, Just imagine Yee in a bar. Doing that, yeah, Found. with his battleship, <laughs> with Kim. What are you doing? With Kim. Kim and her PR team struggling to keep Kanye's life together. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why Kim got skinny. She's stressed. Stressed. <laughs> She's trying to keep that man in one piece. Anyway, that is enough about that. Happen. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. So why are they in the outback? How do they get there? That's my biggest question. I can understand like the everything else. I can kind of. Maybe piece together, but what, how do they get into the middle of your train habit? I can imagine it's a great place um, for inspiration for a new song. You need a little bit of peace and quiet. Yeah. You drive in the middle of Outback. Yeah. And you've definitely got peace and quiet for sure. True. true. Um, and I could just see Kanye being the kind of guy who walks into you know the Outback of Australia with a bag full of oranges. I don't know. Just, I just, feel like just, he would get very like into these oranges, like there would be like, like you know, like the Yeezus tour. Like there would be like something that's like really like, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing is meaningless in Kanye's life. Everything is poignant. What would him. be the meaning of him selling oranges? Though he's selling them. <gasps> he's well, stop. He stop does orange. <laughs> oh my god, he is orange. He's drawn them. He's <sighs> he's made these oranges the little trumps, and he's selling them. The little hats on them. The little red hats. Yeah, the MAGA hat. The MAGA hat, whatever you call it. Is it MAGA? It's a MAGA. MAGA, whatever it is. Make America great again. Yeah, it's a MAGA hat. A MAGA hat. MAGA hat oranges. And why? I feel like Katy Perry, like, I feel like if that's the case, Katy Perry's been, because she was really, um, vote Hillary. I feel like her PR team's been like, yeah, Katy, it's going to be brilliant. You're going to love it. It's going to be selling oranges. It's all organic and natural. She gets there. No, 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 Without anyone telling her, she gets there. She thinks this is like organic orange store. She finds Kanye in a corner making them into little McDonald's and she's like, fuck no. I did not sign up for this. And flies straight the fuck back. Or... And I'm the one who's actually got the real truth behind this story. Yeah. So you were there. I was there. <laughs> I was there in the outback. I did buy an orange. It was well refreshing. Where else better to kill a Trump fan? If you're a, if, if you're a, <laughs> We're killing Trump fans. No, so. I'm not. I'm not. But <laughs> Katie Perry was that Katie big Perry at Hillary. Right. She was really She was like, Perry. oh, she weren't too much of a fan of Yee's last album. She bought herself a pair of Yeezys, couldn't quite get the grip grip she needed. I didn't realise that selling, um, selling oranges was going to get, like... Well... Like, one, political, and two, violent. But well, you never know, like... Yee was like, if I make little oranges with little hats mm. to look like Trump, and I take them to the outback of Australia, because, yeah. you know, Trump could become president there too, right? He yeah. can do that. I mean, if it happened in the United States, he could definitely... He could definitely change If that ones. could happen, literally unicorns could come back. <laughs> Come you back as if they were back. alive the first time. Yeah. yeah, I believe the unicorns yeah. were once here. I so, believe unicorns were the dinosaurs. <laughs> fact. <laughs> facts are facts, right? Facts are facts. Hashtag. <laughs> never, hashtag facts are facts. <laughs> never found a unicorn skeleton. Have you seen a rhino? <laughs> <laughs> it's the least graceful fucking unicorn ever. You haven't seen one run. It's a fat ass unicorn. <laughs> hey! That is offensive! Doesn't matter what so size. What, unicorns, unicorns or Ryans? <laughs> so Ryans? Ryans. Ryans. <laughs> so Sorry, Ryans. <laughs> Sorry, Ryans. <laughs> Especially fat Ryans. <laughs> or Ryans with a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Most Ryans. Most Ryans. <laughs> anyway. 
Um, yeah, so he was out there spreading the good word of Trump, the gospel of Trump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As it, is. <laughs> As it is. Plus, also, hat works the same. Make Australia great again. Well, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> I love that that works. <laughs> it works. Yes. It doesn't need to be worn. Australia's awesome, but yeah, but, but it works. But right? Donald doesn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but Donald Trump probably not enough it. guns. <laughs> not enough guns. <laughs> Those guys got rid of guns. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Having his arms, it looks like me. <laughs> and a gun. <laughs> you, you spread my message. <laughs> guns and oranges. Because <laughs> that's in your like, manifesto. More guns, more oranges. <laughs> and tanning beds. <laughs> and Gary Perry was like, don't worry, Hillary. I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take him out. Flew out the there. The good of the world. <laughs> I'll take him out there. I'm being like, come on, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. ain't how you. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be really hard to get angry at a person when their name's Yee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but do you know what Yee yeah. would be? What? Great yo-yo salesman. <laughs> yee yo! Because of Yee Yee's. Oh my god, that would look amazing. A little like, yeah, yo-yo. Like Kanye really wears the space on them. <laughs> I wouldn't even make them round and actually have them like a cutout of his head. So it's like... Like that weird bauble we got that year. Yeah, the head bauble. Yeah, my brother that. got a, like... It, it was like a super realistic bauble. Obviously, it's of your face, but it was creepy as fuck. It was so fucking weird. It was like... It looked like someone decapitated him and hung it on a Christmas tree and it was not hot. <laughs> That was a weird present. It was I kind of wish I could get a whole bunch of them though, like literally get everyone I know. And, and give them to your lunch. family, pretending that you're really into it, and watch their faces go. No, oh, no. Oh, thank you. Although that is quite fun to do, especially if you don't really like a um, like a family yeah, like, member. Pretend that you're really into it. Give them like, like a rubbish like, present, yeah. and then just watch their face. Like, yeah, it's for you. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think it would be better to just get all these little head and put the head baubles and just cover your tree in them, oh, and yeah. then invite all everyone, of your own head. But don't tell anyone they're there. Oh, all, all of your own head. Or no, all of your mates. All of right. your mates. But don't tell anyone you've got them on your tree. Yeah. Invite everyone over for a Christmas do because I love Christmas. Love yeah. a do. Love a do. I've got so many Christmas do's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love it. Um, and then they all come over and they'd all be sitting there and all of a sudden they'd be like, is that my head on a tree? And you'd be like, what? What about that? And just pretend you don't even know. <laughs> like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you would know it straight away. It was like a whole tree full of bubble heads. <laughs> the first thing you would notice is that. I think that would be funny. Be uh, funny. Maybe it wouldn't be. Maybe it wouldn't be. Oh, I think that's it. That's it. So, we forgot to do this in the last one, didn't we? We did. It's kind of awkward, but I thought you have to do it. It's what everyone does, right? So, if you like the podcast, um, find us. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, comment, like. If there's any games you want us to play, comment. Yeah, we want to play these um, sort of fun style games. And I've come up with a few. Yeah, we've got a few. If anyone's got any good ideas, well, let us know. There's Animal Love Child Roulette, name pending. Name <laughs> coming up. Pending. We'll let you guys try and work out what yeah. that might be. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know how many games you like. Um, you can find us at Molly Pod on Facebook. Yeah. And. Um, What's our email? The Molly Pod at gmail.com. Pod, yeah. If you want to just email if us. If you want to email us. Rubbish. Cheers, <laughs> suggestions. Suggestions. But better to put them on we a comment. Read them out. Put them on a comment, then people can tell us what they think is yeah, good. We're like, both the ones That'd with be the most votes. Yeah, comment. Um, cool. Goodbye, have a good time.